to y'all. <laughs> I look such a fucking mess, y'all. I really should have brushed my hair before I opened up this camera. But I think I want my appearance to reflect how I actually feel right now. So we're going to let it be. Um, I have literally reached my breaking point. Um, my car literally will not start. Um, I am on my last leg when it comes to money. I have nobody to call for help. I... I've been trying to put it off for so freaking long, and it's like I can't put it off anymore. I'm taking my ass back to the strip club. Like, I've had enough, y'all. I've had enough. Y'all don't know how isolating, how humiliating, how saddening it is to realize that in your lowest moments that people use it to shit on you, people turn their backs on you, people don't give a fuck about you, but people still want to watch you and watch what you have going on. People who were my childhood friends, y'all, would rather watch me and behave like fans than actually be friends to me. They ignore my calls. They don't even offer the help after knowing what I go through. But they'll get caught in my Instagram story views all the fucking time. This is actually scary. I think I've passed the realm to a lot of people of being an actual person that actually like has emotions, that actually goes through things, that actually has their own life and I'm just something to hate on or something to be entertained by or something to be sexualized or something to be just just to watch. I'm no longer a person to a lot of people, especially people I grew up with, especially people I'm related to. I'm no longer a person. I'm just something to hate on, be sexualized or to watch, to be entertained. So, okay, I'm taking my ass back to strip club. Yesterday I posted a video in the poll studio and I was so nervous about posting it because I've never in my life really cared what people thought because y'all, I have been homeless, I have been hungry, I have been poor like my whole fucking life. The only time in my life where I ever really had any little bit of money, hand over fist, I guess, to take care of business and actually rest and say I'm okay was when I was working in a strip club. I have worked so many jobs at a time and still not had enough and then still been told that they didn't they just really didn't care if I was about to be homeless, um, that it wasn't their problem, that they couldn't give me as many hours after I did more time than managers. And now I'm saying it and I'm meaning it with my whole chest. What anybody has to say about me, I could really give a fuck because nobody cares whether a woman living in her car, y'all don't give a fuck about me. Y'all are just entertained by me or y'all just like to hate on me because you enjoy seeing me supposedly down because i did choose to live in a car but after a while it started to just become an issue now it's it's amounted to an issue because i can't even start the fucking car so i can't even do uber eats to make more money because now my car is fucked so people have such hatred in their hearts for me that they're they're happy to see what i'm going through people that i grew up with have not yet asked me am i okay but they like instagram posts about me posting about being homeless. People that used to know my mother, people that I've gone to school with since elementary school, people that I've been in their living room with and their parents know me, have not yet asked, am I okay? Even though I see you're trying to keep a good, good face, I see you're doing this, I see you're doing that, I see you're trying to be positive, but are you really okay? Because nobody gives a fuck. They hate on me. They hate on me, they do. They do. So when I make what I make out of my life, y'all can sit and talk y'all shit from the bleachers, from the sidelines, while your lives are staying shit. Because I'm gonna do what the fuck I have to do to get to where the fuck I need to go. And I can give a fuck what anybody else thinks. Because before I was dancing so I could take care of my mom, but guess what, now she's dead. So I can give a fuck what anybody else thinks. My dad don't give a fuck about me. He's manipulative and he's evil. I don't have anybody to depend on. I don't have friends. Because the bitches I used to strip with, don't really fuck with me because I don't really want to be a stripper because I have other aspirations and their aspirations are to stay in the strip club. I don't have anybody to depend on. I don't have anybody that genuinely even cares if I'm okay. Bitches that will make a public comment on a post. Talk about I love you or I'm here for you. If I ask them for a little bit gas money just to keep my car fucking going, they act like I never asked them. This is the world that we live in. There's recessions there's pandemics there's fucking aliens and y'all be so concerned and worried about me and hating on me you hate yourself so much that you hate me i'm gonna do what the fuck i need to do and y'all quite frankly suck sh shut the fuck up and suck my dick 